Hi, this is Sue Paint here with Travel Changes Live. You might be a cruiser, but have you ever thought about going on a world cruise? Most of the brands do have world cruises, and the thing to know about them is that they vary in length, but most of them are anywhere between about 135 days to 155 or 60 days. It's just about the longest one. I'm going to talk to you about the 2025 Azamara World Cruise, which was just announced not long ago, and show you what these cruises cost and actually where they go. You, of course, would want to pick a cruise based on the service you get from that particular brand, but also the itinerary, where it's going to go. So I thought we would take a look at Azamara's 2025 World Cruise. Now, they also have a 2024, uh, 2024 World Cruise, the interesting thing to know about World Cruises is that they usually sell out pretty quickly. Um, they're announced. And in some cases, with some brands, they will announce their World Cruise. And within about three or four days after they announce it, it will already be completely sold out. So that's pretty amazing to me. But let's take a look at this one. I'm going to share my screen with you and take you um, through some of it. So hang on just a minute. So here we are, Azamara 2025 World Voyage, World Cruise or World Voyage. They're often called voyages. And in this particular uh, voyage, you are going to start in San Diego, California. And 155 days later, you are going to end up all the way over in Southampton, England, where, of course, if you wanted to go in, into London for a couple of days to celebrate the end of your cruise, you could do that as well. But let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> so for this particular cruise in 2025, it's going to give you 150, 155 nights and 37 countries. And what you always want to do is look at what are the countries? Are there places that you really have always wanted to see? Now, Athamara is really known for having late nights and overnights so that you get more time in the destination. And on this particular world cruise, there are going to be 46 either late nights or overnights, meaning that they, you would have extra time in that particular destination. I'll get to these events and exclu or inclusions in a minute, but I want to show you the map first. <clears throat> so here you're going to be leaving San Diego, and this is in January of 2025. And then this particular cruise is going to take you to the um, to the South Pacific, you're going to end up in Honolulu, Bora Bora, Samora, Tonga. And then from there, you have to go switch all the way over to this side. And you'll be going through to New Zealand, several places in New Zealand, several places in Australia, to Indonesia, to Bangkok, all the way through all these stops here. And you will end up eventually in Southampton. Now, this is, of course, not a detailed, uh, complete a thing of all the places that you'll go. But as you can see, this is going to be pretty much on the southern half of the world, right? Um, other than where you're ending up here in Europe. So that's uh, one thing to look at. Is it something that you want to do? Now, uh, most brands break their world cruises up into shorter journeys so that if you don't have 155 days or you don't want to spend the money for 155 days, you can take just a segment. And that's what uh, Azamara has done as well. Their first segment is Hawaii and French Polynesia. And as you can see, that is uh, from January 6th to the 24th of 2025. From there, if you wanted to join, you can join as many segments or as few segments as you like. For there, the second segment is the South Pacific Jewels, uh, Papiti, Tahiti, I mean, uh, Tahiti, French Polynesian, Auckland, and into New Zealand. The third segment is New Zealand and Australia. The third, the fourth segment is Western Australia and Bali. The fifth segment is um, Singapore over to Bangkok. And then the sixth segment is what they're calling ancient trade routes, which is Thailand to India. And then the seventh section is India to Greece. And then you would go from Greece to Rome, from, from Italy or Rome to Lisbon, and from Lisbon to Southampton. So and if you want to do a pre-cruise extension, you can spend Christmas going through the, uh, the, the uh, Panama Canal. 
Um, so at any rate, I wanted to show you a little bit about what it takes to book one of these cruises. Now, <clears throat> if you are somebody who's going to book a world cruise, the brands are always going to give you some um, some advantages, some benefits. And for Azamara, you are going to get $4,000 worth of onboard credit. And that, of course, would help you pay for any shore excursions that you might want to take on the cruise. And they will also give you another $3,000 for um uh for for more shorts for unlimited wi-fi and for um upgrading to the premium beverage package one thing to know about smr is it always includes all gratuities food and beverage um what they call their as amazing evenings which are special evenings in port where they will take you to say a private concert or some other uh, really cool event and that is at no cost to you. They just arrange it and invite you to go. You would, of course, have concierge service. And if you're a world cruiser, you would have one week, uh, one bag per week of laundry. Now, these bags are little, but still, nevertheless, you would be able to do that without cost. And there are some more exclusions, too. This also does ex include round trip business class air travel to where you are embarking as well as one night hotel stay prior to the voyage. So you would fly business class to San Diego and then you would stay one night in a hotel and Azamara would bear that cost. They also uh, pay for all of your transfers to and from the hotel, the ship and the airport. Um, when you're embarking and disembarking, and they give you luggage shipping, a $500 luggage shipping reimbursement if you want to ship luggage ahead of time. So um, what does this kind of thing cost? Well, with Asamara, there are about um, eight different uh, categories of stateroom from an interior, which means no window, to an ocean view, which means a stateroom that has a window, not a veranda, but a window out into so that you can see out. Club Veranda, then Club Veranda Plus, which gives you a few more exclusions, the Spa Suite, the Ocean Suite, and then the Owner Suite. So let's just say that you wanted, you said, I wanted to, I want to do a veranda. I want to be able to sit out and watch the ocean. So let me pick the least expensive Club Veranda, which would be $56,999 per person. So you're going to you're going to uh, multiply that times two because you're going to have to share a cabin with somebody. And then you're going to end up spending $113,998. And that sounds like an absolute ton of money. But you do have to remember it's for 155 nights. If you divide that out, then you really are looking at $735 per night per couple or $367 per night for an individual. And of course, that includes um, all of your food and drink and so forth and so on. So if you, in fact, could do Europe on a day in uh, those kinds of surroundings and including your transportation and your food and so forth, you would be hard put probably to do that for $735 per, per, per couple per day with the kind of uh, amenities and the kind of inclusions and the kind of uh, room that you would have on the ship. So at any rate, it's really fun to think about a world cruise. I have often wondered to myself, could I stay on a ship that long? Bill and I have stayed on a ship for 34 days, I think. And I will say to you, the time passed just like that. We did a back to back, two long back to back cruises once uh, just before COVID. So at any rate, if you have ever thought of a world cruise, um, I'm happy to talk with you about not only Azamaras, but many of the other brands I can show you as well. Some of them go more northern. Some of them go down and back up again. There's all kinds of itineraries. And every year, the brands will change their itinerary up. So if you look at 2024, Azamara World Cruise, it's going to look different than the 2025 World Cruise. So that's all about World Cruises. It's really something to just think about, would you ever even spend that long on a ship? The idea really turns off a lot of people and the idea really intrigues a lot of people because it would be a very easy and convenient way to see a lot of the world. So this is Sue, your travel agent with Travel Changes Life. You can reach me at sue at travelchangeslife.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.